go Pepsi. 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 <sighs> Got too much of this. Today I'm going to be teaching you lot how to do ground and your duking on ground and the different ways to move on ground. Because I've been going in default lobbies and I've been seeing a lot of you just being on ground. You new players, you're on the ground. You're always you're, you're on the ground a lot. You know, doing that. So yeah, I've been seeing a lot of you mess around on the ground, but you don't know how to do the ground. All you're doing is running away and then jumping on the tree every so often and bouncing off of it. It works, but not for everyone. Because no, if you notice, you go up to a tree, you jump on it, uh, you bounce off it, uh, you get uh, tag like that. It's simple to tag people. It's easy to tag. Definitely the new players like you lot. I think you new players are noticing that it's easier to tag other new players because you, you don't know how to play. I mean, my tutorial probably helped you. I hope it did. That's good. But today, I'm going to be teaching you more stuff. It's getting good. A little bit of stuff to do with competitive, the more professional type of things. You default player, you, you new players are going to probably love this. Us competitive players are going to hate it. Well, I'm not because I've been learning stuff. So long story short, here's a screenshot of what one of the David said, one of the developers. Long story short, this says that they're getting rid of 60 hertz and they're making it so it's either 72 or 90 because <coughs> they want the community suggestions. So I'm pretty goddamn sure they're not going to make it 120 or 60. It's going to be either 72 or 90 hertz you're going to be playing on at all times. <coughs> I keep burping, man. It's that Pepsi. So yeah, that's about it. So 60 hertz is just going to get patched. You won't really be able to play on it. It will just be your refresh rate that you're on. It doesn't affect the game because for some reason, the different hertz that you're on at the moment affects the game. Like me recording this video now, time I'm recording this, what's the date? What's the time? Friday the 6th of January. That's that's the time I'm recording this video. But yeah, let's just get in game. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Let's go. Woo! I am better. That was first try. When you're running on the ground, you're normally running like this because that's how I taught you in my beginning of this video. This is the original way of running. And yeah, that's about it really. And now that you know how to do that because you watched my beginner's video and you understood and it's been a few weeks even since I've done it, you should know how to run properly like this. So I'm going to show you more advanced things now, just like running like this, for example, because it's a bit quicker and more effective and you can do more with it. Like that. There's a lot of things you can do with this front. You don't... Mmm, get in there. Right. With running. Right, so how to do this run. You're going to do your right arm. I'm going to go sideways for this. I'm going to go this way sideways. So with your arm, you're going to be turning it like this. And then this arm's either going to be flicking back like this. Or it's also going to be turning like this. And then it's going to go like that, basically. So this circle, then this circle. Or flick, flick, flick. And then you get that. And then you start going a bit quicker. And then that's that. That's literally how easy that run is. With duking, when you're duking on the floor, you're going to do this. This run is efficient for a lot of things. Lots of people use it. And uh, yeah. Normally when I'm going backwards, I never use two hands to go backwards like that. I always use one hand when going backwards. But if I'm looking at my opponent and I want to go quickly backwards, I do that. So that one is just the same way, but I'm just looking away like this and then I'm just flicking down like that. <laughs> There's a little spinning example all over here. So that's that running, right? That's so simple on how to do it. All you need to do I'm gonna I'm gonna go into more detail now. Circle with the front. Maybe le learn how to do this first. It should be fairly simple on how to run in a circle in front of you like that. And then you're gonna learn to flick like this. Doesn't matter if you land on the floor because doesn't matter if you land on the floor when you're learning how to do this because if you land on the floor, that's that's better because then you want to prevent yourself by landing on the floor by using your other arm. And then that's how to run like that. So that's like really, really super simple, right? Now with, with duking and using this movement, people will think you're really good with it anyway, because this movement is literally what all the professionals use. So if people see you using it, then they're gonna be like, oh my God, he's really cracked. And then when, when people get either angry because they think they should be better than you, when people get angry, it's psychology, right? It's psychology. When, when it's with the psychology of it, when someone gets angry in a game, they will try harder, but they will do worse. It's weird, I know. That's why I don't recommend getting angry when you're in when you're playing Gorilla Tag. Since you're going quick, 
let's say the snowman is chasing me, right? You can juke like this. Look at your opponent at all times so that you know where they are. Unless you're running away from them, of course, then you can run like this. Just look back every so often. So that's with that running. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. Right, but anyway, with the juking, you're gonna run to the side. And you can jump off a tree really quickly. You see how I just flicked on the tree then? I didn't I didn't go proper whoppa. All I did was a simple flick and I went the same amount. So with flicking, you're just gonna go whoa. <laughs> Look at my hand in real life. I'm gonna get closer to the camera. I'm doing that. But since you do it quickly in game, for some reason, it gives you a lot of power because you can do it with jumping too. Like, look, I do a high jump with it. Okay, that's... <laughs> See? I didn't do that or anything, but it does do the same. See? So you don't need to use a lot of force with everything you do because you could just run like this. Just flick run, just flick running. That's cool. You see, that's how the game physics work. Let's say you're running like this, right? You're running away and then you decide to go round, back, forward, this way. And then they're gonna be chasing you like this. You're gonna go round. So then they're gonna start going that way. Then you're gonna go that way again. And they think you're gonna go that way. So they're just gonna turn around and be like, what the hell? Oh, okay. Then that'll gain you some distance. Oh my god, that's so good. So, it was a very short tutorial. So now I'm going to show you some gameplay of me doing those things. So I hope you enjoy. You watch this. You're ready. Here we go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Okay, I breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Why can you go faster than me or something? Oh my god, that's so good. I know, that's in the tutorial. E407. Oh, W! W!